Hi guys, welcome back to the Rate and Climb. This is going to be the 800 to 850 part of the climb. Let's get in some five minute games. Hope you're all doing well. Let's try and get a nice aggressive opening here. Now this is tricky, like you can go for some stuff here. I used to win a lot of games like this at, the, at these rating levels. I was hoping he'd take back. <laughs> But maybe we go into some sort of gambit. Okay. A lot of these games so far in the climb I've been been winning. And it's just been a case of trading down the pieces and, and cleaning the game up. But this time I want to try and... Ooh, it's tempting. Yeah, I want to try and play a bit more dynamically. I just wanted to bring the king out, but I'm going to try not to trade. Okay, I'm inviting him to take this pawn, because if he does, then I can pin it to the king. Um, why don't I just... If I get castled, and line this rook up with his king... I should be able to create some unstoppable threats here. I would like to kick this knight out of the way. I don't want his king sliding back here really, but it would trap his rook. So he would be playing a piece down effectively. Okay. We're throwing this check here. I was thinking of pushing this pawn. Um, How do we create some mate threats? Hmm. Okay, it's not so clear how we're going to actually win this. We're a piece down, so we need to generate something, but. Okay, so that just hangs a piece. Nice. Yes, yeah, so he tried to bunker up, but and maybe long term he was going to be good there, but then he he just blunders. So should make things a bit easier. Just need to bring some pieces out. Gang up on this king. Maybe put the queen on this diagonal. Let me know how you found the videos, guys. Add appreciate some feedback so I can improve the content for you. Hmm. There's no threats but just need to be a bit careful. Going after this rook, you know, to play defensive with it. Yeah, and if we can just bring another rook, it'll make this move very strong. So there, there, and then bring a rook to deliver mate. 
right. Just play this out, get the bishop out, bring the rook, bring it up. So check that wins the bishop. He's got to be scanning for checks in that position with his open king. So it's just going to be a magnet for tactics. And now I can start thinking about bringing the rook. Uh, what's the best win here? I mean, there's takes, takes. That doesn't seem the cleanest. I'd like to get this knight out so I can charge right in. But... This is fine. So now I've finally got this. And now we should be able to just ladder him. Okay, it's a bit of a slower move, but didn't want to blunder anything. I wanted to be able to play this. Just getting a bit low on time, so I know I'm not maybe playing the the moves which end this game the quickest, but I'm playing moves which definitely will end this game. The best win is the easiest win, as they say. I was looking at these, but it just lost me a piece. I've got this coming up as well. Okay, so isn't that just mate? Yeah. What was that like? Two blunders, okay. Alright. So I gambited a piece there. It worked out alright, so maybe we'll do it again this game. Depending on how he plays. So this is a very slow start. I would not recommend pushing those two outside pawns. So he's gambiting a pawn. Uh, okay. Maybe he's going to try and check and win it, win it back. But now I get a tempo on his queen, which is nice. And again, I'll just cover this up first. 
that was Tempo's Queen. And look at this lead in development. So he's got this pet line where he wins the pawn back, but it's not good. He does have two central pawns. I think that's the pawn. that's what he was trying to prove. I think this lead in development will will show itself to be better than his central pawns. Okay, so he's all the way back now. So he's already started pushing these pawns. But I think he's if he castles this if he castles this side it's weak. If he castles queen side is weak. So Yeah, I don't mind castling here. Just considering if Hmm. Oh, I'd love to hit this queen. I'd hit the queen. Maybe jump in there first. Yeah. Jump in there. Then protect that square with the bishop. Then I could land this knight in and fork the king and the the uh, king and the rook. So I can maybe play this and just blunt the bishop and then carry on with my plan. Which seems very solid. Yeah. Okay. So at least I can tempo the queen, but my plan of forking there is now dead. So he's ahead on the clock, he's playing good so far. Just need to bring my queen, connect the rooks. Um, since he's not castled, we should look to break in the center. Um, don't know, how do we expand here? I'd like to get this move in, trade that off, get my queen up, and maybe put some pressure on this diagonal. So I'm just letting, letting him maybe, giving him some rope here. Yeah, he's moved the king back very wisely. So I don't mind letting him have this pawn. Probably win it back. Double up his pawns maybe. Yeah, I think that's the right call. So maybe let's threaten to sacrifice. Sack. Check. Winning the... Winning the uh, knight at the end. Well, it would have been, but now he's moved his rook. He's no longer winning the knight. Because the, the king can move there and protect the knight at the end of this sequence. But I still think this looks strong with his pawn coming down. If he takes. Let's pre-move that capture. Wow, okay. Well, I'm determined to sack this piece. It also opens my queen up. Right, so we're even on material. If I can somehow push this pawn. Yeah, I don't mind this trade. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, and that seems to put an end to it. For now. Uh, I want to keep queens on the board here. Let's just do that. Maybe thinking about this, this, and bring the bring the rook over. Yeah, just making sure there's no fox here. If I can get this over, push this pawn, then I should have a good position to win this. Right, I need to start playing quick here. Let's bring this. Let's go get a bit messy here. So that blunders a pawn. Right, come on, keep thinking. The conscious one. Yes, I can throw in this check. Does it do anything? I don't think he can punish it, so I'm going to do it. Okay, so now we're threatening. Well, no, the knight's there, sorry. Oh, I hung my queen. Oh, uh, my queen. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, man. Yeah, he put me under time pressure. And this, this could be my first loss in the series. Oh, man. Run this check. No. Uh, yeah, and I'm getting mated. Uh, wow. Well played, the conscious one. We'll be posting. My first loss. Yeah, I, I didn't play good there. I got myself into time pressure. Um, I'm not as good at, at these slower these faster time controls sorry um i play a lot of 10 minute games and at these five minute games i'm i'm a bit slow so that just revealed my weakness that game it was a bit of a closed position and nothing much happened for a while and i got low on time and i made a few blunders at the end there yeah it really punished it so well played to that guy the conscious one First loss at 800.
Commentary does use my other brain cell up, so chess is a struggle, you know. So we can temper the queen, defend the pawn. My arrows are abysmal, sorry guys. I was defended by that. Let's just develop a piece while he's messing around. Tempo him again. Similar to that previous game where people at this level will just attack you with their queen and not get anywhere in terms of development, not bringing their pieces out. There we go, though. That's good. Uh, I don't mind doubling up like this. Supported by another pawn, so. Yeah, no, he's just relieved all the pressure that he'd built up. And tempo him with this. Those are some hopeful arrows, guys. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, yeah, and again, all these people will get their points back after this climb. So I'm not actually an 800, I'm a 1,600, somewhere around there. Oh, well, they're five minutes, I'm probably a 1,400. So. Yeah, and this guy's looking good. Tempo is queen. I don't want him to be able to push that. So he's putting on a bit of pressure early on, but... I, c I don't feel too scared because he's only got two pieces and I've got, you know, three, four defenders. Uh, do I just set up a little trap here for the queen? Can I do anything else? Yeah, let's do that. Cutting across these diagonals, the queen might not have too many squares to go to. Has he got any attacks with his queen, or can I just jump in there? What about here? Ooh. Here, the only square he can go to is at h3. Or g3. Looks very scary for him. Potentially trapping his queen in the future. I mean, back here he can just repeat, can I? I can play here and just block his queen in. If here, 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 he'll have a big attack, so that's terrible. Um, maybe we just block his queen off. Also stop his knight. Stop this knight, come into these two squares. I'll add further protection. This guy's a little bit slower, so I'm not going to run into time issues like last time. This 
going to be a longer video if I'm losing games now. Wow. Okay. What are you going to do, though? I'm not seeing what he does here. After this, my king looks pretty safe. Okay, does he realize I'm going to take his rook? Why isn't he taking that piece? What? Okay. Well, I'll just bring it back then. He's not got any checks. That's covered. That's covered. Okay, so if I just took my king up, I should be really safe here. Let's check in. There's no checks. All right. So now we'll just bring the rooks. Unless. Check. Takes. Check. There. Threatening mate. Let's go for it. Pieces pinned. Wow, so this is a bit a bit loose now. Um, so is this check. Okay. I mean, this piece is going down. Well, I could sack this. Um. All right, so I'm, I'm seven points up, so I can just trade. I don't need to do anything silly. But, but also, this does look very good. It does allow him that check there, though. So, <laughs> maybe we just... Maybe we just bring this back. Oh, I don't know. I want more time. <laughs> um, maybe this. Yeah, okay. No. Let's bring it back. Yeah. Low on time, guys. Right. Right. Yeah, again. Just having to think a little bit more and getting a bit low on time. Just, just showing that's the weakness in my game. I know it is. It's part of the reason I'm playing five minute games here rather than ten minutes, which I'm a bit more comfortable with because it'll improve my speed. So I like just that. It's a bit of a weird move this pushing the same pawn twice. If he takes back I can Yeah. So I'll just demonstrate the value of this. So he's going to have real problems with his king now. Developmentally, he's going to be slow. Okay, tuck in there. And now we get this gorgeous move.
bring these pieces, get the rook centralized. Hmm. I mean, if I take, he takes, I take him. Let's do it. So it's thrown into something like this. Uh, I don't see the threat there, so I'm just going to attack this. Keeping my pawns together in a nice clump. Just bring that all the way back. I love having a, a bishop and a pawn working together. Protecting each other. Uh, this seems very natural. Maybe I'll bring my king up first to stop him coming in. Mm. Yeah. So I'm up. Two pawns. Yeah. What do I do here? This is this does look a bit sketchy. I'm not going to lie. Um, just get the king out of this. Yeah. Mm. I need rid of this knight, it's a real problem piece. I've also got problems with this king. I'm just worried about this coming in. I think he thought that knight was still pinned. Because before this. Sorry, this bishop. Before this bishop was pinned, I think he thought it was still pinned. Okay, so if I just took that back, that would be mate. <laughs> yeah, if I took that back, he would bring the, bring the rook in. Okay, got a game on. I've got a bishop though, so as this position becomes even more open, should have more of an advantage. Okay, so here we're threading this, threading this. I'm just going to burn through my time in this game. I know it. He's got two knights on the board. It's going to be just fox galore. Let's see if he sees both threats. Okay, so I'll grab this. Maybe it'll be me who forks him. Hmm. Got any more checks here? We can we can go back. Yeah, I was hoping he'd play that. Okay. Yeah, no, respect to this guy. He played really well there. Put a lot of pressure on me, actually. Um, 
just shows if you play in much stronger opponents, the best thing you can do, put them under time pressure. I'm not going to give them a repetition of moves. That's I should have just taken. Just desperately trying to fork me now. Trying to get back in the game. Okay, so let's double his pawns. Uh, throw in this check because I don't think he can defend the piece and I can take this knight for free leaving one pawn on the board nice he resigns ok good game very yeah, these, these players seem noticeably stronger now. Between five and 700, I couldn't really tell, but these last couple of games have been decent. You can tell, guys, I love tempo in the queen. I love it. Okay, so he's attacking the square. How do we defend this? He's also attacking this. Mm. Wow. Might be losing a pawn here. <sighs> Jeez. Yeah, maybe this was not so good. This move is so strong. Wow. Do I let him check me? Play there. Queen can't come in. Queen can come here. Tuck in there. I... This might get sketchy, guys. <laughs> I just don't want to lose the rook. Oh, okay. It's a, yeah, he goes off to the rook instead. I was a bit I was a bit worried about this check, but I, th I think that I got away. Now I'm just losing a pawn. Oh no. Oh no. No, I'm not losing anything. That's just All right, bit scary that, guys. I was a bit rash in the opening. Okay, so we're pawn down, but we're looking like we might win one back. So attacking this piece in order to take that and double his pawns and then fork him maybe. Uh, maybe I was a bit rash in that move as well. <laughs> Trying to play a bit quicker, but Okay. Okay, so he's two pawns up here. Now, naturally, I'd take this and ruin his pawn structure, but yeah, I will. Just because it allows me to castle, allow me to take this as well. And I don't think he's got any more tricks. So now we're well, we one pawn down, but we've got a better pawn structure. That would be a big blunder. I was thinking there to maybe go here, but he's got check winning both the rooks. 
But can can we not just win this piece? I think we can. Yeah. Um, has he got anything? Let me throw in this in-between move. He takes, we take. There's also this check. But I can just offer to exchange queens. But no, because it wins the rook. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, no. All right. Let's play quick. Put him under pressure. His king is also loose. How does he defend this? Maybe here? Takes, 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 takes. That's even. Uh, but he doesn't realize he can play this, so we just get to win a piece here. He shouldn't take that. So maybe we pin Yeah, let's let's pin this rock up. And maybe we can do some damage to it. Something like tucking the king away and then maybe this. Yeah, that's good. I think this guy forgot that this rook was pinned. Bring it back and then boomerang back over with mate. He's got to put his queen there. Yeah, he's still not understanding the position. Not understanding that that piece was pinned. But, wow. <laughs> yeah, just, I got off to a bad start. Allowing this was brutal. And I had to really bunker down. Yeah, and I, I just, I misplayed that. I, I saw that that was an attack, but I didn't see that it won the rock. I... <laughs> Alright, come on. Back on it, guys. Let's go. Was not what we want to see. One loss is all the losses we're having in this this section of the climb. In this sub one thousand section, I do not want to lose again. It's just develop. Yeah, that's the goal. No more losses. Sub one thousand.
Mm, I don't mind that pawn structure, so I'm just going to castle. Okay. Lad, lad, lad. From the UK. I don't want to give him full control of this file. Oh, right, let me mute myself and I'm going to sneeze. Come back. <laughs> uh, I think this is this feels a bit loose, but I don't see how he punishes it. Liking these bishops. Uh, hmm. Knights protecting each other, but I feel like there's going to be tactics to win a knight. Let's, uh, let's counter attack here. I don't see what he does. So maybe I'll take this. No, nah, because he can attack my queen. Let's just take it. Yeah, no, he did just swung the rook over. That would have been silly. So I can attack that, defend the pawn. Improve my pawn structure. So my structures are a bit weird here. But they are protecting each other. Unconventionally. And I'm loving the, the look of that move here. Okay, so you can take this pawn, but I think this pawn's much more influential in the position. Undermining these pawns, forking these two. He holds everything together with the queen. Oh, <laughs> not gonna lie, it took me a second. Holds everything together with the queen. <laughs> okay, I keep. Jesus, I keep trying to hang my queen on this. All right, so let's clean up now. Done this before, guys. Bring the rooks. Right, so I can push this pawn. Might be the quickest way. Yeah, this is over for him now. Quick resignation after that. Yeah, that was a much cleaner game, guys. I don't know what I was up to before, but I was getting myself into time pressure. Not playing very principled. Let's just get back to basics. So these levels, you, you don't need to do anything spectacular. You just need to play solid. If you don't, honestly, like if you don't blunder, that will be it. You'll you'll just go up 500 points, like. Yeah, I realized most of my games under a thousand, I was, I was just blundering and I was getting outplayed some of the time, but a lot of it was, I was just blundering. And I just told myself I'm going to lose on time rather than blunder. And it, I think it's improved my game massively making that decision. So I took longer to think about things, making sure I cut out the blunders, making sure I scanned for the forks, scanned for the positional errors you know so 
I don't want to allow him to attack this pawn. I don't think he's got anything here. So maybe we just play this up. Menacing this move. Just tempering the queen. Again, we're seeing it a lot at this level. People getting the queens out too soon. And just me wasting their time. Play solid. So now I've got two attackers on this. He's got two defenders. Maybe I can disrupt his queen. Okay, so now he's just stopped defending that piece. So I'll take this way. If I took this way, then I'd no longer be defending this pawn. So let's take like this. Okay, so if I can, hmm, I'd love to take this and double up its pawns. How can I do that? This is very loose. Um, do I lock it in the square? Sort of like that. Sort of weird looking, but. Maybe I'll swing my queen over. Ah, uh, I've just undefended that square. So let's see if he notices that. This is fine. Oh, or is it? What if he takes, takes? No, no, it says fine, it's fine. Okay, I didn't calculate him taking that way. But look at that. That allows me to double his pawns. Which I know isn't the biggest thing, but it's, it's a pawn in front of his king. You know, that's, that's a proper advantage now, I'd say. So instinctively, I'm just going to line up along this. Maybe something like that. Hope you're all enjoying the video. I know this is a bit of a longer one today due to the uh, <laughs> the loss. But um, that sniveling opponent won't get away with it next time. Um, oh, is there any sacrifice ideas here? Now, to be fair, that guy played really well. Um, I was just slow. Uh, I think I just... Why, I don't need sacrifice. There's no rush. I can just... Line this up and ask him what is he going to do. I don't know if he can actually respond to this threat of taking his pawn. Okay, so let's grab it. Also just looking at this. This isn't actually a threat, it's defended. Maybe I'll play all the back all the way back there to protect this pawn. Okay, so he just takes there. 
Hmm. All right. So my king is much safer than his, and hopefully that will be the deciding factor in this game. And now this is just mate because of this rook coming in. Um, I mean, he can bring his queen across to stop it. Ah, and he does it that way. Defending along the diagonal. Yes, respects, appreciating the situation. So if I take this, he takes me, then I've got mate on that square on um, f7, right? Just making sure he doesn't have any, any sacrifices or... In fact... No. Okay. Nice. Alright, I'm going to leave it there, guys. We've had one more game in this video. Uh, I don't want to be too slow. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm really enjoying this series. And please let me know in the comments below uh, what you're thinking about uh, the, the content, uh, the video, audio. Any feedback would be much appreciated at this early stage in my YouTube channel. Alright, see you next time. Bye.